Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for the rapper, entrepreneur, and business owner, Nipsey Hussle. Let me just state my disclaimer guys, everything mentioned here in this video from start to end is alleged, okay? Everything uh, mentioned here is not a proven fact. It is for entertainment purposes. Again, nothing mentioned here in this reading about the rapper Nipsey Hussle is a proven fact. Everything said here in this video is alleged, which means not a proven fact. Also, everything mentioned here in this video from start to end is not meant to start any rumors about the rapper Nipsey Hussle or any other parties mentioned here in this video. Again, this video is for entertainment purposes. Nothing mentioned here is meant to disparage Nipsey Hussle's name, brand, or family, or anything affiliated with Nipsey Hussle. Again, everything mentioned here is alleged and not a proven fact. Nothing mentioned here also is meant to disparage any other parties mentioned in this reading. Okay, guys, let's begin. So the first card for Nipsey Hustle is the following card. The Hierophant card. I'm going to be doing a six card spread about Nipsey Hustle. After I'm done placing the six cards, then I will go over what each cards mean and what I'm seeing for the cards, okay? The second card is the following card. Five of Pentacles. The third card that came out, flipped out while doing the cards is the Sun card. The fourth card is Ace of Cups. The fifth card is Six of Wands and the sixth and final card in this reading for Nipsey Hustle is the following card the world card okay guys let's begin the reading the first card is the Hierophant card and this card is showing that Nipsey Hussle wanted to, wanted to conduct business the traditional way. He tried his hardest, allegedly, to conduct business um, in a legal manner where he could get his money, where no one would be saying anything or trying to allege that he's doing anything that was not legal. And also, because he tried to conduct himself or start to conduct himself in a traditional sense, this started to anger a lot of parties that was around him or that was affiliated with him. The second card is the Five of Pentacles card. This card is showing that because Nipsey Hussle wanted to operate his business in a traditional sense, and expand his business doing traditional things as far as um, starting new businesses that will maybe help the community or um, working with um, organizations, allegedly working with or organizations that will help the community or help to further Nipsey's business ventures. Someone felt here with the Five of Pentacles they felt left out in the cold because of this. They felt like, um, how should I put this, that Nipsey was becoming like a square 
like he wasn't I um, allegedly like a gangster anymore like he was going about things in a way that they did not appreciate allegedly okay someone wanted him to still remain um, the person that he was from his past allegedly and let me just state my disclaimer again even though I stated it in the beginning of this video what I just said is alleged okay nothing is a proven fact but again I have to state what the cards mean and what I'm seeing with the card someone did not want him allegedly to be on the straight and narrow they wanted him to still be a person from his past and Nipsey did not want to he wanted to make sure that he was doing everything by the book so that anyone wouldn't question him he would he would be a legit business person but again with the five of pentacles someone here did not like that and they felt left out in the cold by this action by nipsey okay the third card is the sun card the sun card is showing that nipsey wanted to go into new ventures as you can see here with the, um, the figure here on the white horse, this is a figure that looks like a child. A child represents a new spirit, um, something new that came into the world. So he wanted to go into new things, um, new ventures. And in order to do that, he had to make sure that he adopted the traditional sense of doing things where it's by the book okay when i say traditional i mean by the book but again even though he wanted to do and um do new ventures and going to new places that required him to operate by the book or how this particular business that he wants to work with or start how it should operate it started to cause a lot of red flags with someone in his circle or someone affiliated with him where this person is the one who felt left out in the cold and again the red flags started to happen i am not quite sure if nipsey himself saw the red flags coming from this person a lot of times but sometimes um, with anyone, which it could apply to anyone else other than Nipsey, sometimes when people show you who they are, you need to believe them, okay? Sometimes, and a lot of times, this can cost us when you don't see or catch on to certain things on time, it could get you into a whole lot of problems or issues with people. Whoever felt left out in the cold here started to show Nipsey a lot of red flags and I'm not sure once again allegedly if he saw them or if he saw them and chose to ignore them, okay? The fourth card guys is the Ace of Cups card. This card is showing that Nipsey got a offer extended to him during this time where he wanted to go into new ventures and go by the book and go into new places um, to operate with people or expand on his business ventures he got an offer once again even though this arm or hand is extended and it looks like the offer is great Sometimes that offer could be detrimental to you and not every offer is a great offer, okay? And I'm seeing that Nipsey at this time did not accept an, an offer from someone that he's affiliated with. So again, 
this person again started to feel that was affiliated with Nipsey started to feel left out in the cold and again here comes the red flags because Nipsey is moving up and this person is feel feeling like he's being left behind or she's being left behind and a lot of red flags this person starts to do a lot of things that Nipsey didn't like or he just felt like he's moving away from them okay the fifth card is the six of wands card this card is showing that Nipsey started to go to victory and as his slogan says um, the marathon, the marathon, sorry, <laughs> the marathon does continue, okay? It continues. I'm not an American, so excuse my accent. The marathon continues. And this is, again, what caused the person to feel left out in the cold. They saw Nipsey going into victory while they were being left behind and this is what caused i believe or allege this is allegedly what caused nipsey's demise um with what happened to him a lot of times when people see that you're starting to go further into your goals and dreams and they are not able to come with you or come with you in the capacity that they feel that they should be around you they start to feel jealous and they start to exhibit a lot of red flags but sometimes when they are exhibiting that to the other person that is achieving their goals that person doesn't think that oh it, um, this person hates me or they'll get over it or you know um, this too shall pass a lot of times you have to pay attention to people's actions and take it seriously because when you let a lot of things slide too much they the other person that envies you can harm you and you don't see it coming because you put it past them that they wouldn't hurt they wouldn't go to the extent to hurt you you have to make sure that you pay attention to the red flags that people start to exhibit when you are around them. It doesn't matter if this is a friend, a family member, an associate, or someone that you just happen to know where there's no real relationship but you know them. You have to pay attention to when you are around them and if they're clapping for you or how their body language is towards you when you come around okay so yes with the six of wands card nipsey was going into his victory lap okay because this card means this um, figure here is marching in a procession where he's being celebrated and going forward to success and victory so yes this card shows Nip nipsey going into his victory lap and um, the marathon does continue and they didn't stop anything regardless of what they did or or how this person or people whoever this is allegedly harmed Nipsey you didn't stop anything because he's still his everything that he worked so hard for is still going forward the sixth and final card in this reading is the world card so this is a card that shows that what goes around comes around okay um whoever it is that is responsible for harming nipsey what goes around does come around so it's going to be revealed in time who this person was and we're going to be highly surprised of who this person is okay because it's someone i believe or i'm alleging again this is not a proven fact someone that was very close to nipsey did this to him and the public is going to be surprised when this person is revealed of who it is 
So this concludes the reading for the rapper Nipsey Hussle. Again, I have to state my disclaimer in the video in the end. This is a reading that was for entertainment purposes. Nothing mentioned here in this video is a proven fact. Nothing mentioned here is meant to start a rumor about Nipsey Hussle. Everything mentioned here in this video from start of this video to the ending now of the video is alleged and not a proven fact. Nothing mentioned here was meant to disparage Nipsey Hussle or his character or his affiliates or any other parties mentioned in this video. Thanks guys and please do come again. Please don't forget to like the video, share the video, um, subscribe to my channel and let me know down below in the comments what you thought about this video here. Thanks again for watching and guys please do have a wonderful day. Bye for now.